River State House of Assembly has thrown a fresh jab at the former factional speaker of River State House of Assembly and Governor Siminalai Fubara's loyalist Edison Ehie, saying he was never a speaker. Ehie, who was the majority leader of the assembly before declaring himself as the factional speaker, had on December 29, 2023, resigned his position as both the speaker and member representing a Hoda East constituency too in the assembly. The River State High Court had also held that the here should be recognized as speaker pending the determination of a substantive suit before it. However, the clerk of the Assembly, Emeka Amadi, in a press statement issued in Port Harcourt on Wednesday said he was never elected the Speaker of the Assembly and should not have claimed to have resigned from such office. To further discuss this, I'm being joined now by lawyer and public affairs analyst Tunji Abduhamid. Tunji, it's good to see you again. Thanks for joining us. A new twist to the entire conversation. A statement by the clerk of the assembly that he was never elected speaker and should not have claimed that he had resigned from the office. What about the court validation and the recognition by the state governor and then you think about the governor also accepting that his resignation is in the interest of peace. Could you provide maybe a premise that validates this new position by the clerk of the house? Yeah, good evening and thank you for having me here. Uh, I, I think uh, the first state, uh, what is happening in the first state is, uh, is, 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 is continue, uh, drama. Uh, it's, it's, it's drama, 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 and uh, we are yet to see the end of it. I, in fact, I have ordered for my popcorn so that I will enjoy it. Uh, for me, I, I think uh, the, what the clerk said is not uh, totally correct. It's not correct in the sense that uh, the, we, all, we are aware that, uh, look, even though there might be, there might be a question regarding uh, the way and manner he was appointed as a speaker, but what we know was that he was appointed as speaker and that appointment was validated by the court. Uh, so in that regard, he's, he's a speaker. Uh, he was a speaker of the of uh, 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 River State House Assembly. So it, will not, it is not totally correct for the clerk to say he was never a speaker of the House of uh, Assembly of River State because uh, he was elected. There might be question as, as to how he was appointed, how he was elected or nominated as a speaker of the River State House Assembly. But notwithstanding that, as far as he, he was appointed and the court validated uh, the appointment, he remained speaker. To even confirm his uh, speakership, the budget for 2024 was presented before him. And uh, so if he's not a speaker, why would the governor present that, that budget before the House presided by, over by him? So for me, as far as I'm concerned, that uh, position of the clerk is not uh, 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 correct to, 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 to an okay. I mean, you say for you it's not uh, correct, but we did mention uh, before we you came on the eight-point resolution to resolve the crisis. And the governor is saying that uh, he, the resignation of the factional leader, he accepts that he is a factional leader. But then again, you think about the House, um, the Martin Amawulu, Amawule, I beg your pardon, who is said to have been Speaker of the House since uh, June of 2023, that he has been performing his duties accordingly. How does all this position tie in with the mass defection to another party and their subsequent denouncement by the PDP. Do we have to um, assembly in River State? Like I said earlier, it's an, it's an ending drama and it's, it's, it continues. Uh, you see the, the, the issue of uh, the, the yeah. vacation of office by those people who have uh, defected from PDP to APC. It's still a, a subject of uh, litigation before the court, and uh, that has been uh, handled at the, at the Federal High Court in Abuja, I, and, uh, as, as well as the uh, High Court in the first state. Notwithstanding that position, uh, I, I think uh, uh, the resolution passed by the uh, president or, or signed by them uh, when, they, when they were with the president, that resolution cannot uh, take the place of law as far as I'm concerned, because the resolution cannot, be, cannot override the law, and, the, and the, 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 president, the president cannot by proclamation or whatever form, declare that a, a particular person or, or persons should be allowed to continue their job, if, even when they are in proclamation of the law. So it, it, it's not, it's not the, 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 the proclamation cannot be what we are going to rely on. We have to look at the constitution. What does it say? So that is the 
guideline, that is the foundation upon which the country is based, upon which the first state as, 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 as of assembly is also founded. So if, if, this, if the law, if, if, the constitution, if, the, if the proclamation is in conflict with the constitution of the, of, of the, of the, of the country, that proclamation will, will, will take a, a back seat and the constitution will prevail. And that is why the matter is before the court to determine whether or not, having left their, their, their party that forced them to, to become a member of the assembly, they can still retain their uh, position by virtue of section 109, of section 1G of the constitution. I mean, your, your position does align with that of another guest that I had uh, on Nigeria tonight, uh, who is also a stakeholder <laughs> there. Um, he says, he affirms that the remaining three assembly members, uh, as recognized by the court, remain valid. And he discountenanced the factional, uh, the group uh, led by the clerk, the Amawile, right? So... He is saying that within the three members of the, the assembly that is recognized by the court, that they will pick a speaker among themselves. Is this a valid scenario? If yes, again, how does one assembly have 27 members whose cases are still in court, so 25 now, and then you have another group that says there are three how do we make sense of it? If you were to explain to an ordinary citizen who does not understand the intricacies of what is going on, that there is problem with the assembly, how would you explain it? Yeah, what I would tell them is that there's a problem at the, at the university assembly. There, we have two factions now, as far as I'm concerned. The two factions, we have the one led by uh, uh, the, the, the former speaker or the current speaker. And then we, the one that, that, that was led by the, the, resign, the, the, the speaker that just resigned. So there we have two uh, assembly. I don't know whether they, based on that resolution, they've now they've now become a one. I'm not I'm not sure of that. There's no any pronouncement to that effect. But the fact is that look, as far as uh, the, the why, why I'm referring to both of them as a member as, as of assembly is because both are they, they are all relying on a, a other order of court. The one led by Ame Uli uh, have an order of court from the uh, from the from federal uh, capital territory Abuja. Uh, which uh, say they, they should be allowed to retain their seat pending when the issue will be determined. There's also another of court from the High Court of the River State saying that, look, the, the, uh, uh, is the led uh, members of assembly should be recognized as, in, as, as the House of Assembly. So there are two situations on ground now. And then they're in that regard, maybe probably based on their resolution, they are trying to look for a, a, sol a political solution in that regard to say, look, look, you as a speaker, resign your position as a speaker, come and join us as an executive. Uh, what game they are playing? I don't know yet. And that's why I say it's an unending drama. I will just sit and wait and see what they are, they are trying to do. But what I know is that there is no, there is no way a proclamation or a solution or agreement can be used to override the provision of the law. If the law says this is, a, this is what, what should happen, that is what should happen. Except we are not running a country uh, based on, on, on law. Except we are running a country based on fiat or based on the authority or decree from the president. That's when those people's position Will be, will, still be, will, still be, will still be retained because as far as they, they are not denying it, they, they openly they said they have they, 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 they've defected from the APC uh, from PDP to APC and there's no going back to them. They, this is on, it's on the open and they, that is clear. So there's no doubt as to whether or not they've defected. But the point okay. is now is that whether or not they have a good reason to have defected from the PDP to PDP is an issue that will be determined by the court. Uh, permit me to lash on to the words you used, political solutions to the problem. Uh, the constitutional one doesn't seem uh, to be working. Now, there is a constitutional matter. The uh, governor has presented uh, a budget to a factional group that he has acknowledged um, has resigned. So what happens to that budget? Is, it, is this still valid? Or would the governor need to represent uh, the budget to a reconstituted house of assembly? Hey, for that budget to be represented, that, that, that the one initially presented must have to be repealed because it's now a law having been presented by the uh, having been passed into law by the governor. So if for them to represent it, they, it has to be repealed by the by the House of Assembly of the River State, which we don't know which of the assembly is now, whether the one led by uh, Amewule and then the one that we don't even know their Who's, who's leading them now, or whether they are all together now? I don't even know. So uh, they, but for they, if they want to uh, uh, that that uh, budget to be represented, there must be repeal of that budget first, and then it will be brought back to them for 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 for, for another uh, uh, what's it called presentation of that budget. 
But for me, like I said, the, 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 the what is happening in River State is something that is a, a abnormal, it's unusual, and it's, it's thing that not that should not be happening. There is there's no way we can be using a political solution to settle issue of law. Some of the issues in that uh, in that in River State are issue of law and not issue of resolution. All the resolution passed by the, by the president, one or two are those that I think is within their uh, their, 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 their power to, to do. The fact that uh, the commissioner who resigned can be returned back. Yes, yeah, the directive. To, uh, if, if the governor wants to accept that directive, the discretion to appoint a commissioner is, is in his is in his hands. So if you if he wants to agree to go by the commissioner that has resigned and those who have been uh, uh, imposed on him, is that is his choice. He has a discretion, but that that, is, that discretion is also subject to whether or not the people of the state who allow him to uh, to, to 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 put their their hands inside the wine uh, 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 gear. So if, if that if that if that is the case, so it is it is between the governor, the, the, the people of River State, and those other people. The, whatever the governor is doing must be in the interest of the people. And whatever, if, even if he's doing anything and he's accepting anything, he's signing any document, and the people of River says, no, we agree that you have signed this document, and we know you say it's in our interest, that we are not in agreement with that document. The people of River State can, can make him uh, change his mind and, and, it, and, and not follow that uh, agreement. And like I said, out of the eight resolutions passed by them, only one or two, are, are, are not against the law, uh, the constitution. Others cannot be cannot be resolved by way of resolution or by way of proclamation or fiat by the president or anybody. Because the issue of a uh, uh, budget now, like I said, is not something that you can just direct. The issue of uh, those who have resigned, uh, who have uh, uh, defected from one party or another, cannot be by way of a uh, directive and then say political resolution. Therefore, just ignore it and let's let's move on. We can't move on in that manner. If we move on in that manner, you are, we are setting a dangerous precedent that will be followed by other House of Assemblies in the future. I, I'm curious as to um, your thoughts on INEX silence. We know that uh, the uh, PDP has written to them to ask for another election. And we also know that these members are uh, saying that they are APC uh, members. Should INEC be a bit more vocal about the situation in River State, considering that there is some constitutional issue here, or is there none that concerns them? I, I think I, INEC is doing the right thing as it is now, because, uh, you, like I said, there are, there are, there are, there's another of courts which uh, restrain INEC from conducting uh, any election into that uh, seat. So in that regard, INEC cannot do anything. They must be, they must be obey the law until set aside. Whether they are conflicting or that, there are, there's, there's one from the federal court and one from the from the from the from the high court of the state. The I, the federal high court order restrain them, uh, restrain INEC from declaring their seat a, a vacant pending the examination of the of the suit before the court. So in that regard, INEC has not done anything that is not in line with the law. Uh, INEC cannot be even. INEC should not, should not even be talking. INEC should be, should be operating as a neutral body. It should be a referee and should not be involved in the the the, the argument or debate as to what is happening. Let them sort out the, the issue. And then Anek will do the writing. I, I think for now, Anek is doing the writing because there's another of court. He's, he's trying to he's, he's trying to obey the, the order of court. The situation in Ondo State is certainly looking more naughty every day. But we see what happens. Uh, River State, I beg your pardon. River State. Uh, yes. yes, it's looking more naughty. Thank you very much. Yeah, like uh, I, to like I said, it's an ending drama. Yeah, let's go get our uh, popcorn. And the last. <laughs> uh, not fair on the people of the state, though. Thank you very much for speaking with us again. Thank you for having me. Happy New Year. Happy New Year.